Hi, welcome back to Python class. Once again, I'm Onoyemi Akin, and I'll be taking you on Python inheritance today. What is Python inheritance? Inheritance allows us to define a class that inherits all the methods and properties from another class. So in that case, we are going to have a parent class and also a child class. What is a parent class? A parent class is the class being inherited. A parent class is the class being inherited from. Also, it is called base class. While a child class is the class that inherits from another class. Also called the derived class. Excuse me. So now we are going to look at how to create a parent class. And we walk through that and also create a child class and all other activities will be carrying out. We are already in our terminal and we need to create a parent class. I'll still be using the name person for the class name. So we have class person and we have to create our init definition init function and have ourselves then f name we want to make sure we have the first name the last name which is l name and we have to call back this to be self dot f name f dot first name okay equals f name and self dot last name equals l name all right so we are going to have another function called print print name and that's with itself so also we have the information all we want it to do to be print self dot first name and also self dot last name also, thereafter, we have to call this parent class. Let's call the class by instantiating the object of a class person with the name John and last name should be. David. All right. So we want to call the print name, which is the second function in the class. So we are going to say, remember, X is the object of the class person. So we are going to use X to call the other function. That is the other methods in the class. In that case, we have it as print name. And we put the function, press enter. So we want it to print the name. So the function of print name is just to print self dot first name, self dot last name. As long as all this is under the class, it will automatically get the information from the init and that will be carried out here. Now we want to create a child class. How can we create a child class? To create a child class that inherit the functionality from another class, send the parent class as a parameter when creating the child class. So 
what we are trying to say is that when you want to create a child class the parent class name will be used as a parameter by so doing the child class will inherit every attribute of the parent class let's quickly create a class say class a student and we put the the class name for the parent person we want to use parent class to be the to be the uh, once use person to be the parent class that's why we put it as an argument then we put this and the next thing we do was we pass <clears throat> the reason why we are putting pass is just for that code to run smoothly by not throwing error so we have pass in there and if we instantiate students by saying y is equals to students we want to create a student with the name joseph joseph and then the name Mike. <clears throat> this is the object instantiation of the of the student class, and we want to call our print name. Then we say y dot print name, and we have Joseph Mike as our output. Why do we have Joseph Mike as our output is that the class person have been inherited by the student class, which means every attribute that we have inside the class person here is also going to serve the student class here. That is a child class. Now we want to add init function to a child class. So far, we have created a child class that inherits the properties and method from its parents. We want to add the init function to the class instead of pass keyword. So we don't want to use pass any longer. We want to make use of the init function. So this init function will be automatically called every time the class is being called or every time the object of that class is being created the init in that class will automatically be called so we are going to add an init to it to the child class and we are going to carry out an example of what will happen so before we go ahead when you add the init function the child will no longer inherit the parent that means we no longer inherit the parent in it. Remember, the parent has an init function. Immediately, you add an init function to your child uh, class. It will no longer inherit the init function of the parent class. And the child init function override the inheritance of the init of the parent init function. So just take note of that that once you add your init function, it will override the init function of the parent. Then to keep the inheritance of the parent init function, add a call to the parent init function. So we are going to add a call to the parent init function if we want to maintain the inheritance of the init function. By so doing, we say class, we are going to create a new uh, class. So let's say class teacher. <clears throat> and the parent class is person, which is inherited. Then we say we define a function for the init.
with its own parameter which is self first name last name and okay by def in its self so, oh I should put comma not to stop that's a mistake comma all right let me just start all over with a class teacher to put person then we add our init function so in that case we have self comma First name, comma, last name, and we have this. Then we are going to call the. <clears throat> we are going to call the parent function for the init. That is person dot init. I've explained why we use the dot notation for the init to you. I mean, dot notation when using a class is because the dot is the connection between the object and the parent. So that makes it easier to get the values in the object. So we have self, first name. Last name. All right. So in this case, we have created a class with an init function. We have created a child class that inherit a parent class person with an init function for the child class and also retain the init function of the parent class. As well, we have initiated that command by saying person dot in it self first name last name so then in this case we have keep the parent inheritance class and we are ready to add functionality in the in this function so if we want to call teacher now teacher now we say z is equals to teacher <coughs> teacher for the name the name Benson Nelson comma Benson see okay okay I didn't move out of the panel so name okay um let me quickly do this to make everything clear I'll quit spells and come back to the terminal all right, class person. Class person. F. In it. So, F name. L name. And we have self dot first name equals f name self dot last name equals l name and we have another definition print name self 
then we say print self dot first name self dot last name yes we have that and then not create a a chat class now we say class teacher class teacher with the person as the parents then we instead of pass we create def in it and we do ourselves from our first name from our last name and remember we actually want to make sure that we have the init being called so We have this also to be passing dot in it. Um, ourself, comma, f name, comma, l name, and that is that. So now when I call teacher, um, I will say z is equals to teacher and saying come on now saying and I will say z dot print name <clears throat> now we have pencil Nelson so in this case i have inherited i have kept the inheritance of the parent class by initiating person dot in it self first name last name all right let's quickly look at how to make use of the super function in python we also have the super function which we call super in this form the super function will make the child class inherit all the method and properties from the parent class it will enable all of them to gain that properties so in that case we are going to look at how to make use of the super function the super function is mostly used to <coughs> to enable the child class to inherit the the attributes and methods of of the parent class. So let's look at that. So we're going to define a class called student. So say class student with the parent person and we have to define our init we have self <coughs> self first name last name also, we have our super super dot in it. And we have first name, last name. And this from instead of writing person. That's the, the name of the parent class. We'll rather use super in replace of this the name. And we use the dot notation to link whatever we want to call.
from the super so that is that so by using the super function you do not have to use the name of the parent class element it will automatically inherit the method and properties from its parent because the parent class name has been used as an argument so when you call super the super will automatically inherit the the properties of the parent class that is how to use that so if i say now and i instantiate our uh, x equals students as object instantiation of students and i say dollar oh no x equals students <clears throat> I say dollar comma dollar. All right. So this I have instantiated the object of student class, and when I say x dot, I want to call this in it, which is inheritance of the parent. So I can say x dot print name. Remember, it has inherited, so it will automatically call the response. Okay. Oh, sorry, I use x equals to x instead of x. So when I say x dot print name, and I will have dollar and dollar. So that's how to make use of super. Super. <clears throat> then how can you add more properties to your class? adding properties to the class when you want to add a property to a class it is called graduation year a class oh sorry when you want to add a property called graduation year to the class student what can you do how can you give us so we want to add a class graduation year to the student class so we see what we, we go ahead by writing. Remember, we're supposed to. So I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to create the student class and add a new class to it. So, in that case, we are going to have class students. Button. Let's see if it won't say that we've created a class before. Okay, fine. In it, self, f name, l name, and we have a uh, super dot. <coughs> In it, sorry for that. I've been battling with cough. Okay, then we have F name, <coughs> L name, <coughs> and under that super, we're going to have self dot graduation here. Equals 2019. So, in this example, the graduation year that we are adding will be a variable and is passed into the class student. When the class student object is created, another parameters in the init function. when the class student is being created another parameters will be created in the init function which is the graduation year so now when we want to call this we can instantiate our 
we instantiate our class and we call the class let's try that out let's say f is equal to students and we want to call the year to is that clear now so if i put shola let's see what we have shola I say f dot print print name. Let's see what will happen. We have Shola Bola. So let's now try to do Shola Bola and uh, 2014, 2015. All right. It says takes three position argument, but four were given. Can you see? So we can't add this. So let's create a new class because we've created a class before and that is why it is like that. Okay, so so if we are to do this perfectly, we are supposed to pass the year to the graduation year and not the value so in this case we have passed the value so okay let me try to print um f let me try, try to print f dot f dot Oh, okay, print f dot f dot graduation year. Let's say the output, yeah, 2019 is there. So, because we've added the year to it, it is there. So, that is under the student, uh, student class so now we go to the next thing which is how to add method so how can we add method remember graduation year is a properties is the properties but when you are adding method method is a definition method is the definition so we want to add a method class called welcome to the student class so in that case we are going to say class let me scroll down so that we can all see clearly so we say class students all saying and dev minutes So F name L name and we have um super oh no yeah. yes we have super we have super <coughs> dot in it Of oh, sorry, I have name. Our name. Okay. Then we have. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have quotes. The back of this. All right. So on that part we have self dot self dot graduation year graduation year equals year and 
and we have another method which is def of welcome so when you create a new function it is called the method when you add something to under the method it is called a property exactly now everything all together under a particular class is a class so we have class and that is welcome I mean they are welcome to give self as parameter and we have <coughs> print what do we want welcome function to do for us we want to welcome the student welcome welcome self dot first name self dot last name that's from, that's coming from the super if you remember comma then we have to class of self comma self dot self dot graduation yeah so now we have all this let's instantiate that to say d is equals to student start with the name i will and any day and once we instantiate this let's see what it's going to give us okay name year is not defined so we have to define it here so let's see come on 2067 extra forward given We didn't define the year yet. Okay, the year has been defined earlier to be 2019. Okay, so coming. Okay, now what I notice is that um, the student uh, here. Yeah, has to take three arguments uh, but here i indicated just two arguments and that is why it's giving us this error so i'm going to create a fresh uh class for this and we are still going to make use of so some of uh, all the details in there but we are going to ensure that it is um it is another class name we're going to make use of so let's go that. I will just say class class new students new students in everything person. I don't want to write a new stuff. So we have this. <clears throat> So as for this and we are going to have this set dot super in it, first name, last name. Oh I I have actually made another error. So okay. For students let me type okay i think i probably make it better in it so for the student it's going to have four arguments which is self f name l name 
and year <coughs> and year so then we are going to have this and after that we have super dot minutes so instead of that cell we put f name for the super our name and press enter we go again to add in the year to it so we say self dot graduation year <clears throat> So yeah. Then we create a new method which is self welcome. Let's scroll down so that we can all see clearly. Self welcome self. Okay. And we have print. Welcome. Welcome. Come on. Self dot first name. Come on. Self dot last name. Come on. <coughs> Two. Last. Of. Self dot graduation year. All right. So now we have all these. Then we instantiate with x. Let me use g equals equals new student new student. Mike John, Mike John, twenty nineteen. So we have this, and we say G dot welcome. We are actually calling. We are actually calling this method to give us this statement. So and we have this welcome Mike John to the class of twenty nineteen. So that is how to make use of your inheritance, how to add to your how to add method to your class, how to add properties to your method, and how to use a uh, parent class in your child class. I've also discussed how to make use of super and all other necessary aspects of it. Thank you and have a wonderful day. See you next class. Bye.